Hey guys, it's Miss Wagner. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about labeling your emotions and why we're spending time learning such a simple skill. It kind of feels like something that maybe elementary school kids will learn how to do. And so I wanted to really talk through why that's important. So labeling your emotions is really simple and you can do it anytime. You always have access to it. The reason it's important is because of the way that your brain works. So inside your brain, I don't know if you guys remember this brain hand model, but you can think of this part as the midbrain. So it's kind of in between here and here in the center of the brain. And then the front of your brain right here, this is your prefrontal cortex. This whole part of your brain is the cerebral cortex, so right here. And so this is the part of our brain that's good at problem solving and making good decisions. This part where our amygdala is located is kind of the emotional center of the brain. It's terrible in making good decisions. It's really good at keeping us safe. So it's what activates our flight, flight, freeze response. Um, and it's helpful, but not in all situations. So the goal, whenever we become emotional, we kind of flip our lid, right? And our brain becomes disconnected and it becomes literally impossible to make good decisions. So our goal is to reconnect this frontal part of the brain so that we can make a good decision. And so the reason that we want to label our emotions is because it helps to reconnect the brain. So the way I like to remember is name it to tame it. So if you're feeling an emotion that's really overwhelming and you can name it, it actually helps connect this part of the brain back together so that you can make decisions. So if I'm really anxious and I don't label that and I'm just kind of acting out of anxiety, I might do things that later I'm going to regret. Or if I get in a fight with my parents and I'm really upset and I say really mean things and later I'm like, oh, I really shouldn't have said that. I wish I hadn't said that. That's where this name it to team it can come in. It can really help. So even in that moment, if you can say, I am really angry, it reconnects our brain and it actually reduces the intensity of that emotion. So if our anger is like a nine out of 10, it can bring it down to like a seven and we can start to kind of work with it and manage it. So the key is not to not feel any of these things. There's not bad emotions, but the key is to get them to a point where we can stay in control of ourselves and be proud of the decisions we made later rather than look back and be like, oh, I wish I hadn't acted on that emotion. It really didn't make me feel good or it made me act like somebody I don't want to be. And we've all been in that situation because we all have a brain. And so this is just a skill to help you with that. So name it to tame it, connects the brain, reduces the intensity. And now because you have this prefrontal cortex connected, you can start to engage in problem solving. And so things that are gonna get you through the situation either without making it worse or get you through the situation and make it better because we've actually solved part of the problem or figured out what we can do to fix the situation. So name it to tame it is your very first strategy. You can use it every single time you feel an intense emotion. You can use it when you're feeling emotions that aren't intense too. It's a good way to practice. So like, oh, I feel really calm right now or I feel really safe or I feel really relaxed. Those are really easy ways to practice this. So like right now you can just scan and say like, uh, I'm feeling a little bit tired or I'm feeling a little bit bored or I'm feeling excited for the day or whatever that feeling is right now, kind of a low stake situation. And then practice it in other situations when you start to feel upset, like, what is it? Am I anxious? Am I mad? Do I feel hurt? And that will help you connect your brain so you can start to problem solve and get through these situations a little more easily.